My son is Noah Barris. He is almost three and a half years old. Um, he was born after a critical pregnancy where my water had broke at 16 weeks. He was born at 27 weeks. Um, immediately rushed to the NICU and Noah was inpatient for 353 days before coming home. Noah came home from the hospital two weeks before his first birthday. However, six weeks after he came home, COVID hit. Um, so we went from almost a year in the hospital, plus my month of living in the birth center, to now being locked down with a child with critical and compromised lungs um, in the world of COVID. He wanted to meet Elmo. It started as, mommy needs a mental break, please sit and watch this, and turned into the characters that were there for him through everything. They came to therapy on the iPad or in person as his stuffies or his little figures. They were there during the lab pokes. They were there during the admissions. And that's what brought him joy in a world of trauma and crisis. Family road trip to Philadelphia, where we got to spend the day at Sesame Place. He loved it. He got to have lunch with Elmo and watch the show. He got to hold their hand and give them high fives. And these characters that have brought him through his journey were there with open arms to just greet my child with happiness. And he smiled more and bigger that day than I think I've ever seen from him in three years. There was part of the, the day at Sesame Place where right before the parade, we got to walk behind the fence. And as he came around the corner, he was greeted by everybody. Every character that he loves was standing there waving for him and opening their arms for him. And he, he just ran to them and pointed to each one and laughed and smiled. And that moment, just will forever be in my mind. I'd love to say thank you to everyone who played a role in making Noah's wish come true. Make-A-Wish gave our family a chance to be a family without medical concerns for that piece of time. And that, in three years of nonstop medical life, is truly meaningful.